Hello everybody again, so today we're at a little Vauxhall, it's a little Vauxhall Corsa C, it's a little van type model, I was at this the other day so, it's my friend, his complaint is the hazard, the hazard lights aren't working or the turn signal indicator, so if you do that you get that, and if you do that you get that, so it's like a fault in the bulbs, also if you put on the flashers there, I'll go and let you check. We're not getting any activity at all. So there's nothing there. There's nothing there, and there's also nothing at the back. So these, I'm sure, are controlled by the body control module. So we'll go OK into that. Put that off at the moment. So we'll go menu select. Go body control module. Okay, we'll look for diagnostic trouble codes, read fault codes. So you see it's a B3795-2 turn signal feedback circuit open or low voltage. Now we'd agree with that, that's like open open circuit there because that's usually what the that turn signal would signify because it's flashing rapidly. So I tried to bi-directionally control it. You know, we'll do this. We'll take you out. We'll go to actuation test, turn signal test, then we'll activate it. So you can see it's going on and off. You can see that's flashing there. These are flashing normally, so I'll take you out and show you what I found. So you can see that the, they're still not working. But what I did find out, you can see that's still going. That I can hear clicking. This is what well, a large relay, which resides underneath there. I don't know if you can hear that. You can hear the relay clicking. So I decided just to go right to the... I thought, well, if that really is clicking, it's obviously receiving an input from the body control module or however this is working. Well, it has to be the body control module because that's what we went into in our scan tool. So I decided to have a look in the fuse box. And uh, when I look, I says, look at this. There's some of these fuse... There's some... I think there was some fuses missing. So all i done was took my power probe and I think it was meant to be 3 and 23. I don't know, but... Uh, See that? I've done that and you see, look at that, that's an indicator circuit. So if I go to the other side of it, you can see I've got a constant power. So all I've done was I fed that with... Whoop. I'll give that some power. And the next thing, voila, it started working again. So obviously the fuse fairy has been here again. Steve Scott would say. So I'm just going to uh, feed it with see how many amps it takes. It's, I think it'll either be seven and a half or fifteen. So here's a little gadget I use quite often. I'll put this one in. So let's see how much it draws. So there you go. It's kind of peaking at eight amps. So probably a fifteen amp fuse, I would think, would solve that. So it's roughly half eh? so we'll pop a 15 amp fuse in there and I think that'll be done with it but I see there's there seems to be other fuses missing as well so I don't know I was only asked to sort that problem so there you go if your indicators aren't working on a little Vauxhall Corsa C combo van check that fuse there I couldn't exactly tell you what number it is but I'll try and find out cheers